Why does it just disappear here? Is it because we're encoding it incorrectly? Actually, let's print it out. First half, second half, decimal. So if we debug this, first half is 91 when it's gone. Second half is 92. The decimal is 46. 91 plus 92 is 183 with the decimal concatenated is not 46. There's nothing immediately wrong with this as far as I know. Our angle is 183.46. But if I hard code it, negative 183.46. Reload the shader. Oh, it's gone. So this has to be a shader rendering issue. What the f***? I'm hard coding the icon rotation to be this value. It's not even a number, it's a range. But whenever my yaw changes, it only disappears when it's in the Goldilocks zone of Q Nimsy. I don't want to be here anymore. Why does it disappear? I mean, I could try like this maybe, like add a point zero at the end of these values. No way that was the issue. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. It's still happening. Oh, thank God. If that was the issue, I would have raged a little bit. Go inside of here. We completely removed the rotation factor. It still disappears. People, this has nothing to do with rotation. But the reason why it's changing based on my yaw is because we're adjusting the icon's colors. So somewhere in this code, it's aligning exactly with the right colors to remove the icon. Because I do have icon removal code. Out of curiosity, if I delete this. Oh, look at that. It doesn't disappear anymore. It's something we're doing here. And I figured it out. Icon ID is equal to minimap. Icon ID is separate from icon type. Because icon ID is our R channel. In our R channel, we have custom data for the yaw specifically for rotations that's the problem if icon id is equal to minimap we gotta add an extra check and texture type is not player marker type boom we figured it out let's go baby